let's have a look at some examples with L-Click. Um, so the, the connections on the front panel are segregated into two sections. So the top section is the Eurorack section where we have um, a threshold control, a CV threshold, and then our standard CV input. And the bottom section has our relay contacts where we can put our external electronics. And we want to take care that we don't put any foreign voltages that we might put in our relay contacts into the Euro rack sockets. Um, just, just be aware of that. The other thing a few people have said, oh, it'd be really nice to be able to switch mains voltage equipment. And the same, this is not designed for mains voltage equipment. You need to be qualified with um, electrical qualifications to work on mains um, equipment. And um, this is definitely not designed for mains voltages. To start with, I'm inputting a triangle wave to the CV input. And the reason I'm putting in a triangle wave is because it has a ramp up and a ramp down. So we have two crossings of the threshold uh, that we can adjust really nicely with our threshold control. I'll give you an example with um, a wave like this, which is triangle wave. It works pretty much the same with um, a sine wave. And we have the ability then to adjust the pulse width of the output using the threshold. So right now we've got, you know, 50-50 duty cycle. You can see the outputs are switching. So if we had something connected to that, uh, it would switch accordingly according to the LEDs. And if we pull our threshold down, we start to see a bias on one of those contacts. So one of them is on longer than the other. And the same in the other direction, we can bias them the other way. So that can be useful in just creating a nice effect or um, You won't see this effect when you have a square wave as the source. Because the square wave has doesn't have a ramp function as it goes from high to low, it has a really um, distinct transition between high and low. Um, the threshold function then is just transitioning with the square wave. So whatever uh, sort of position you're in on your threshold you're still going to carry the duty cycle of the square wave so if you had um, PWM waveform coming into the CV in of L click then you would get varying duty cycle based on your PWM wave but you can't do it with the threshold control on board so I'm going to go back to our triangle wave And then we're going to plug some things in to the outputs and see how that works. So I've got my benchtop power supply here. You could use, you know, a, a plug pack transformer or something like that. And I'm going to plug in my connector into the common on this case. So I've got that into the common. I've also got... Um, my LED strip, which is plugged into the end of this cable as well. And I'm going to put that into normally closed. It could be normally closed or normally open. Depending on which one you choose, it's just going to be the opposite when it switches. So it doesn't really matter. Um, doesn't really matter, but it might depend on your application. And in fact, you know, we're going to see this example now where the LEDs will turn on and off. If you had another set of LEDs plugged into the opposite contact, they would alternate. So I'm going to wind up my power now to, well, here we go, 14 volts is enough to turn these on. So they're going to come on and off now in time with whatever's happening in our signals. So it's pretty straightforward. And so, again, this comes back to 
our first thing that I've said before where it's got good applications is when we're trying to drive something with a different voltage. So I've got 24 volt LED strip. And so no problem, we can sync up 24 volt LED strip with our Euro rack signals. Um, I've also got five volts coming off this supply onto a different jack. So I'm gonna put that into the other one. And I'm going to switch the other one using a divided clock. Our external power from the solenoid and for the LEDs are both coming from my benchtop supply. You could have two separate supplies, that's okay. Um, so I've got 24 volts here, which is powering the LEDs. I've got 5 volts here, which is powering the solenoid. And they're being controlled through the switching mechanism of the relay via our control circuit from the Euro rack. So if we adjust our frequency over here, it will follow. So we can create different effects with our duty cycle, like on our lighting there, staying on longer than it stays off. We can make it flash, we make it stay off longer than it stays on. We bring it somewhere back in the middle. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate the support uh, so far in, in just having a look at the campaign. Um, and for those who have supported it, thank you so much. Um, if you'd like to check out the campaign, the links in the video. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes.